Good morning everybody wherever you are and welcome to our service for the third Sunday after Easter. What has happened to the time? As you will see I've already lit our candles and we now have our fourth Paschal candle, the one that we hadn't lit before, already going strong. Well today's service we're thinking about Jesus the Good Shepherd and in the service we not only think about Jesus as the Good Shepherd, but also about us as the flock, those who he not only looks after and cares for, but who follow him. I wonder what that involves, following Jesus, being like Jesus. Well, let's have a think about that as we sing our first hymn, Brother, Sister, Let Me Serve You. that hymn. It has so much meaning. In fact, I remember that just over five years ago, I chose it as one of my special hymns at my licensing service here because it does have so much meaning and it says so much about what we as a Christian community should be doing and the questions we should be asking. Lots happened in that five years. I only need to look in the mirror to see how much I've changed. And it ain't a pretty sight. Anyway, let's get on with our service. So wherever you are, whether you're here, there, wherever, welcome. And let us come together as one in our minds and our hearts as we welcome Christ into our lives. We come from scattered lives to meet with God. Let us recognise his presence with us now. As God's people, we have gathered. Let, Let us worship him together. And we say together. God, God of our, our days, days and years, years we, we set, set this time, time apart for you. you. 
Form us in the likeness of Christ, so that our lives may glorify you. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. So let us just take a moment to think about what we have done that we shouldn't, what we haven't done that what we should, and come to the Lord to ask his forgiveness. And you'll see the words on your screens. And we say together, Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. And may the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins, restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, as you may remember, in the last two or three weeks, we come to the point now where we can do something we weren't allowed to do during Lent, and that is to sing the Gloria. And as we do so, let's just remind ourselves of all the wonderful things he's done for us. He's created us. He's saved us. He's redeemed us. He forgives us. The Gloria.
collect or special prayer for today that is being said throughout the Anglican Communion, throughout the entire world. So how many millions of people does that mean are saying it? Risen Christ, faithful shepherd of your father's sheep, teach us to hear your voice and to follow your command that all your people may be gathered into one flock to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And now Russell Anderson is going to bring us our Gospel reading. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. And it's John chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. I tell you the truth, the man who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. The man who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The watchman opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognise a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech but they did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore Jesus said again, I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the sheep. All who ever came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you, Russell. Isn't technology wonderful? A prayer. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will use the words of my lips to breathe your perfect message into the hearts and minds of each person who hears me. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, as I know, you've already heard me say, preaching at this time of year is really difficult because unlike other times of the year where we have a three year rolling cycle, the readings we have at the moment are very similar each year. So we will have all preached or heard numerous sermons on the Good Shepherd. So you would have heard numerous times me or people like me talking about what the Good Shepherd really is. You will have heard us say that the Good Shepherd truly knows and cares for his sheep. You will have heard us say how he has a personal relationship with each and every one of them and that he knows each and every one of them by name. You will have heard us say that if there is something wrong with one of them, he will actually notice it and he will do whatever he can to help it get better. He will also notice if one of them goes missing 
and he will put himself in danger in order to rescue it and bring it back. And there are numerous accounts of shepherds losing their lives throughout history because they've been trying to save their sheep. And of course, you will have also heard num numerous times people like me saying that we are the flock or part of the flock and Christ is the shepherd. That just like any other shepherd, he knows each one of us individually and by name and he truly cares and loves us and that he is prepared to put his life on the line for us. In fact, what are we celebrating this time of year? The fact that he did. But of course, the other side of this is the fact that because he knows and loves his sheep, the sheep trust him and they follow him wherever he goes. And that's what we, as Christ's flock, are called to do. So what does following Christ really mean? Well, let's just look at the stories in the Bible and his ministry. You'll notice that if anybody was ever in trouble, he'd be the first to spot them. And he didn't just turn around and say, oh dear, that person there doesn't look very well. He actually go out and he would do something. He'd help in any way that he could. And in the same way, he calls us to do that as we follow him. He calls us to be aware of all the other people in our flock and those who might not yet be in the flock, but are welcome to come. And he calls us to get to know each other properly, to notice if someone is not functioning well or if there's a problem, and then to do something about it to help them in any way that we can. We know at the moment that there are numerous people out there who are truly caring for all sorts of people, whether they know them or not. That is exactly what Christ calls all his people to do, to care without question and without counting the cost. I pray that we can all do that. I pray that when we see someone in need, we not only care, but we put things into action. We help them in any way that we can, even if all we can do is pray. Because let's face it, prayer is powerful stuff. We will now remind ourselves of the God whom we believe in. And we say together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And I will now ask Marilyn and Richard Francis to lead us in our prayers. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, that the Good Shepherd reminds us that caring for each other is more important than amassing wealth and at times necessitates great sacrifice. We pray now for those who have made and continue to make great sacrifices for the welfare of our people. Lord, hear us. 
Lord, graciously hear us. For frontline workers, key workers and volunteers, protect and sustain them in their work, and may the nation truly value their contribution and give more equality of care to these workers where they are undervalued in our society. For all those who have paid the ultimate price of losing their lives, especially doing their duty in the caring for others. We pray for their families and friends who are experiencing the tremendous loss of these loved ones. May you gather them as lambs in your arms, as the Good Shepherd, to comfort and strengthen them as each day they face life without their loved ones. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Now we commend to your loving care the sick with the virus, not forgetting those who are seriously ill with other life-threatening conditions. We pause to name those known to us. May they experience healing and restoration in your mercy and find peace as they fight the last enemy. Remember those who find the stress of lockdown mentally intolerable, those families where abuse and even violence is experienced as people struggle financially and socially to cope. We also remember the mental needs of frontline workers who are being subjected to trauma. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our leaders, we thank you for the recovery of our Prime Minister from the virus in time for the safe delivery of his baby son. We ask you to give wisdom to Boris and our government in future decisions. We thank you for protecting our Queen and Royal Family. We pray for the nations of your earth, that they will work together to defeat the virus plague, sharing their expertise and resources, especially to the poorer nations. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for community spirit. Bless all those who are fundraising and the 2.6 challenge, enabling charities to continue their essential work. Especially, we thank you for Colonel Thomas Moore and his exceptional fundraising for NHS charities, his good example and celebration of his 100th birthday. Finally, we pray for ourselves, that you will keep us strong for the days ahead and give us working compassion for all those less fortunate than ourselves. We commit ourselves into the hands of the Good Shepherd for his safekeeping in these dangerous times. Father, Father accept these, these prayers for, for the, the sake, sake of, of our, our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. And the peace. Jesus says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Thank you. Our next hymn. Not sure how many of you know it, but it is a lovely one. And once again, it reminds us of the fact that this whole world is Christ's world and we are called to be aware of all those around us, to reach out to them, not just in friendship, but love and care as well. A touching place.
told you that was a lovely one. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Why is it right to give thanks and praise? Listen, and we will hear. Lord of all life, you created the universe where all living things reflect your glory. You give us this great and beautiful earth to discover and to cherish. You made us all, each wonderfully different, to join with the angels and sing your praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. We thank you, loving Father, because when we turned away, you sent Jesus, your Son. He gave his life for us on the cross and shows us the way to live. Now send your Holy Spirit. These gifts of bread and wine may be for us Christ's body and his blood. Why do we share this bread and wine? Listen, and we will hear. On the night before he died, when darkness had fallen, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After they had eaten, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my blood poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. So, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate his love, his death, his risen life. As you feed us with these gifts, Send your Holy Spirit and change us more and more to be like Jesus, our Saviour. How do we follow Jesus Christ? Listen, and we will hear. Help us, Father, to love one another as we look forward to that day when suffering is ended and all creation is gathered in your loving arms. And now, with all your saints, we give you glory through Jesus Christ in the strength of the Spirit, today and forever. Amen. Amen. And we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Amen. Father, who Amen. art in heaven, Amen. hallowed Amen. be thy Amen. name. Amen. Thy kingdom come, thy Amen. will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Alleluia. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Once again, I will be taking communion on behalf of everybody. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ.
I will say the post-communion prayer on behalf of everybody. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. Our final hymn. It's another lovely one which I'm sure you all know. And again, it reminds us about how we should be following Christ wherever he leads us. Not just following him, the path that he is taking, but the manner in which he is walking in that path. Seeing what he is seeing, doing what he is doing, loving and caring and helping as he does. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? And I'm sure he's calling it now.
well done. And our final prayer of blessing. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and all those who you love and care for now and always. Amen. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. And stay safe. And I hope to see you again next week when we will be having another service of the word. We're going to be alternating from now on. So hopefully the, gar the, the weather will be good and I'll be out in the garden again. God bless. Mm -hmm.